and she hops on the bed and then lunges, just goes straight for like my face. And of course I kind of block myself. Hey Lennies, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for bearing with me during the past month. I know things were slow, but I'm starting to get back on track and I'm really excited about uh, our upcoming videos. I've got so many fun ideas and yes, there will be more rabbit makeovers. So stay tuned for that. But today's video is gonna be uh, another story time. I know you guys like those all about the time Lennon attacked me. Before we get into the story, today's video is sponsored by Zoopix. Zoopix is a fun and friendly community for animal lovers where you can post anything you want about your animal or animals that you love. They totally welcome animal spammers. They also host like pet shows every week where you can post photos and videos of your pet and either win ribbons or trophies as well as gift cards to your favorite pet stores. I mean, it's just an overall really fun app. You can even have multiple pet accounts and switch between them really easily. It's totally free and it's available on the App Store or Google Play. So go follow us on Zoopix at Len and the Bunny and maybe we'll follow you back. Back. All right, so on to our story time. Now, I just have to preface this by saying rabbits are not aggressive animals by nature. They're so sweet, they're so gentle, and they're so timid, but they are inherently very territorial. And so they can be aggressive usually with their own kind, so with other rabbits but they're not really gonna be aggressive toward humans or you know other animals unless they're really feeling threatened by something. I just wanna make that clear because I don't wanna stigmatize rabbits with this video. Um, I don't want people to think that all rabbits are nippers because they're not. And this video is about a one-time occurrence. So it just happened once and it never happened again. So Lennon is not constantly attacking me. This was like a one-time thing. I'm sharing the story just so that you guys can learn from what happened with me and uh, maybe apply some of that knowledge to your own situations. So about two years ago, I was volunteering for a rabbit rescue that I shall not name. And basically I would go to this woman's house who ran the rescue and I would clean out litter boxes and sweep and take out the trash and, and that sort of thing. It was a lot of manual labor. And I was happy to do it, by the way. Now, again, this is before I started the channel. This is, I was still kind of a novice. I didn't really fully understand rabbit behavior. So basically, uh, the first time I ever went, I mean, I had cleaned out litter boxes. So I smell like all this different kind of rabbit urine from 20 different rabbits. I'm sure I've got rabbit fur on me. I come back home. Lennon normally would have been sleeping under my bed at this hour, so she was nowhere to be found. I just kind of lay down on my bed for a little bit. You know, this was at the old apartment. And then all of a sudden, Lennon comes charging out from under the bed and she looks at me like she's never looked at me before. And I know that sounds weird, but she was like, targeting me. She was ready to attack. And I was like, what do you do? Like, why are you looking at me like that? And she hops on the bed and then lunges, just goes straight for like my face. And of course I kind of block myself and I jump off the bed and she leaps from the ground up into the air and clenches you guys lunches onto my arm and she's dangling from my arm and I'm like Lennon stop stop and my window was open I swear to god all my neighbors heard me and it was so embarrassing so she actually drew blood from my arm and left like I have a scar you can't see it I don't know if I can get a picture of it. I don't even remember like how she got off my arm, but then she comes for my leg and like bites my leg and that hurt 
like a mother. And then she chases me around the room. I mean, it was such a sight to see this like grown woman running around in circles and this little bunny just like trailing behind her. She didn't draw blood from my leg, but I mean, she was close. So close that I was bruised for days. Finally, I'm able to like kind of grab her and I just like toss her into the bathroom because I lived in a studio so like that was the only way to separate myself from her because I didn't have any other rooms like I didn't have any other barriers between us and I shut the door and she's like banging on the door like scratching and like nudging but it literally she sounds like a crazy ex-girlfriend who's just like banging on the door like let me out right now it was terrifying and i was like bawling my eyes out this whole time because i didn't recognize lennon like she was a different rabbit i mean it was so freaking traumatic for me to witness her like that to witness her so upset and then for me to have like i was bleeding and then my leg had a bite mark i mean it was just like I didn't know what I had walked into. I mean, I put two and two together, obviously, and knew she was upset because of how I smelled. I kind of like did a switch. Like I was able to like get her out of the bathroom and then I ran into it, shut the door, I showered, and then I put on, <laughs> totally like defeats the purpose of a shower, but I had to put on like, dirty clothes that I had already worn that had like my scent and everything so that I smelled familiar to her. And then I came back out and she was still, still lunging. I mean, she was a lot calmer, but she was not like fully recovered, if that makes any sense. So I had to continue to keep her in the bathroom after my shower for like the next 10 hours and like every other hour I would kind of open the door and I would test her, you know, and kind of like stick my arm out and see like if she would go for it. And it took like 10 hours, I kid you not, for her to fully like calm down and not want to bite me like anymore. And I know like this sounds so bizarre, like some people will probably never experience this in their life because they'll never be in that position. And by the way, I'm not saying that your rabbits are gonna react to you being around other rabbits the same way Lennon did. Every rabbit is different. She was just protecting her territory. Like she kind of thought that I was an invader, if that makes any sense, because I had so many different rabbit scents on me. So I don't blame her and I would never label her an aggressive rabbit because of this. I know this sounds like so complicated and like only bunny people would really listen to this whole story because it's like only you guys care. But like, you know, Lennon's a sweetheart. She's so sweet. Like this happened once, it never happened again. But it was pretty gruesome, man. And also like, I have to bear in mind, Lennon hadn't really been exposed to other rabbits at that point yet. And since then she's gone to so many hobby hours and had birthday parties and play dates to where um, I can be around other rabbits now and come home and like not get attacked. You know what I mean? But I do think that was a special case just because I was handling like rabbit waste and litter box cleaning and things like that and brushing fur. And when you've got like all those different scents on you and then you're going home to a free roam rabbit who, who has claimed your entire apartment as their territory. So of course Lennon was going to react that way. I also just want to clarify like I'm, I don't want to discourage people from volunteering at rescues or being around other bunnies again this was a very unique experience long story short I obviously learned from that whole thing and then I started taking her with me to do the volunteer work so I would set up a little pen near where I would be working for some reason doing that actually stopped her from attacking me um, it was almost like she wanted to like see where I was going and make sure I wasn't really cheating on her. If you are dealing with a rabbit that's exhibiting aggression, I'm gonna link my video on 
how to bond with an aggressive rabbit. So please check that out. All my tips and tricks are in that video. I know sometimes if I like, if I pet a dog and then I come home, Lennon can smell that I've pet another creature and that can sometimes intimidate her. Um, she won't bite me or anything, but I can tell that she's like, oh, a little bit taken aback, you know? And so rabbits do have a very strong sense of smell and um, it's important to just not startle them with all the places you've been, all the things that you've touched. You know, just always wash your hands. Again, most rabbits are not necessarily gonna react the way that Lennon did, but some might, you never know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we will see you all soon. Bye.